At the LHC, we're searching for the Higgs boson and other extremely rare particles. In every five billion collisions, we produce just one Higgs boson. So we can't afford to let any of these events go to waste, and we try very hard to identify every single Higgs boson we produce. To make matters worse, about 60% of all the Higgs bosons we produce will decay to a, bottom, a pair of bottom quarks, which is very difficult to distinguish from the much larger standard model background. The main feature of bottom quarks we use to identify them is the fact that they have a relatively long lifetime, sticking around for about a trillionth of a second before they decay. Yes, at the LHC, that's considered a long lifetime. But they are produced at nearly the speed of light, so they can actually travel a couple millimeters before decaying. So the trick, then, is to identify a pair of bottom quark decays displaced just slightly from the rest of the action. We do this with the so-called pixel detector. The pixel detector works a bit like your digital camera, but in 3D and with many more pixels. There's a total of 65 million pixels, each of which is about the width of a human hair. This is one module of the pixel detector, which alone contains over 4,000 pixels. These toys will make it clear why we need such small pixels. If I place my hand under this toy with large pixels, you can't tell that it's a hand at all. If I place my hand under this toy with slightly smaller pixels, you can start to see that it's a hand. But only with very small pixels can you make out the fine details. The pixel detector works in much the same way. The tiny pixels allow us to identify the decay of bottom quarks just millimeters away from the rest of the event and study the elusive Higgs boson.